Hi! I made a hot chocolate today as my beverage. My continuation of the period is still here, so no coffee for now. The oat milk hot chocolate, way better than a cup of tea. Okay, hi! So today's video is going to be a kind of mix between two videos. So I wanted to do this what's in my everyday makeup bag video. I've seen a couple people do this video and I thought it would be fun for me to do it as well. So that's what I'm going to do, but I've also had some of you guys ask if I can do kind of like an everyday like makeup routine for like work. So I've kind of mixed that in the video. So we're going to go through what I keep, well I, put, I just threw it in a bag, but it's kind of all the makeup that I kind of go to on a daily basis that I always reach for and grab for. And they're just stuff that I always incorporate into my everyday makeup routine. The makeup that I use obviously does change a lot because I'm always buying new makeup, aren't I? So I'm always testing new stuff. However, these are the stuff that I just always reach for basically and they're just kind of like my current go-to things to do an everyday makeup look. Does that make sense? So this is obviously the look that we've got going on here. I've just done this. I've filmed kind of try-on clips with all the stuff I'm talking about so you can actually... So it's kind of like a tutorial mixed in with me telling you, me talking through everything and yeah this is the look so this is this is nothing extravagant this is just like this is the makeup that I always wear if I have a bit extra time in the morning or whenever I'm going to work not gonna lie for me going to work every day I don't always put this much effort in <laughs> a lot of the time it's just foundation or not even foundation like a tinted moisturizer and I curl my eyelashes. That's it. Like, I don't even do mascara half the time. This is if I've just got a bit more time. I am actually going to work as well today. I have to leave in like 30 minutes, so... Probably gonna be late, but it's okay. So yeah, I feel like I've explained that in a really bad way, but that's basically what the video is, so let's just get straight into it. Grab your beverage, of course, and just relax and enjoy the video. So, we're not going to go through skincare. As soon as I get up in the morning, I wash my face straight away. I do my skincare so it can just kind of like do its thing. Sink into the skin kind of before I actually apply my makeup. So, skincare is all done. So, we'll just go in kind of the order that I actually did my makeup today. So, I've just kind of thrown everything in this makeup bag here. And we'll go with primer first. So, in my makeup bag for every day, I keep two primers at the moment that I am just reaching for constantly. So we have this one that I've kind of been using a bit less just because it's kind of gone a bit gloomy now. But this is the Milani SPF BFF face primer. So this is a moisturizing face primer that has SPF in it. I love this. But I just, I really, really like this. It's really lightweight and it's not like a sunscreeny SPF but it's also a primer as well so it's going to keep your makeup on i find that it does genuinely work i've been using this a lot and i do really love it obviously this is more i probably get more use of this in the summer i know that you can still get sun damage the sun is still here even though it's like autumn the sun is still there even though it's not shining bright it's still there and you can still get sun damage so i still obviously wear my spf but this is just a good kind of two in one so this is something i always keep in my makeup bag and i love this there's no strong sunscreen scent. It's just kind of got like a really light, like citrus orange scent, which I like. It smells really nice and refreshing. And it's just really nice. I love the formula of it. So yeah, that is definitely one of my favorite primers at the moment. Then we have the other primer that I've been using the most kind of on a day to day because it goes well with the foundation that I've been using. So this is the W7 24K Priceless Primer Serum. So. I think I've used this a couple times so you might have seen me use it but this is just a primer oil that has these like little gold reflex in them, I don't know if you'll be able to see it but there's just like a load of gold in there and it's basically just a primer oil but I do really like this because it's like it's not an oily oil though which doesn't really make sense, it's, what's that word when like something like contradicts itself? Oh my god don't, there's like a word, what is it? Oxymoron, is it? I don't know, okay? I'm, I'm not an intellect over here, but I think that's the word. But yeah, it honestly is that though. It's not like a greasy oil. It's still very hydrating and obviously it's an oil. It gives you a really nice glow as you'll see in like the try on clip. 
but it just kind of sinks into the skin and just gets absorbed really well that it doesn't like make you really oily and greasy throughout the day so I feel like even if you have like normal or even like combo skin I feel like you can still use this primer for sure and I feel like it does genuinely keep my makeup on longer and I just love how it goes with the foundation because the foundation that I like using um, every day is this guy here this is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. I use the shade 7.5, which is Dune. This is the little fella here. I don't think I've actually talked about this foundation a lot on my channel, but I love it and I use it every day. I always reach for it, especially when I'm going to work because it's got coverage, but like it's so light that it just kind of looks more like a tinted moisturizer, but Actually, no, it doesn't. It is a foundation. It's just really difficult for me to explain it. It's it's just a very natural, lightweight foundation, basically. And I like that it's a stick. It's just really convenient. And I'm so lazy. And I just sometimes, especially when I'm like going to work early, I'm tired, okay? I'm sat here watching my Pokemon on my iPad and I just want to like quickly do my makeup. And this just being in a stick is just so convenient for me, okay? It's so helpful. So I love it. The formula is really, really nice as well. It's so soft and like when you like apply it, like when you stripe it on your face, I get, okay, again, I can't think of this word. Why is my brain not working? I mean, my brain's never working, but like, it's emollient. It's just very soft, okay? It just, it melts straight onto your face and it just blends out so, so easily. And I'm obsessed and I love it. And it wears really well throughout the day. Obviously my skin is super dry, so having an oil and this together is like perfect. And this this combo, I really, really like it, okay? And the brush that I love to use it with is the Morphe & Jaclyn Hill JH03 brush. But yeah, I think this is definitely one of my favorite foundation sticks I've ever tried. Like I have the Hourglass one. I do really like the Milani foundation stick. I need to repurchase that. I kind of got rid of it when I decluttered my makeup. And I hate myself for it because I love that foundation. I don't know why I got rid of it. Like compared to like the Hourglass foundation stick, I think this is actually nicer. And um, this is way cheaper than the Hourglass one. That is expensive. Like, I mean, Hourglass is a luxury brand. So of course it's going to be more expensive. But I feel like this is a lot more hydrating than the Hourglass one. So I do kind of prefer this. We need all the moisture locked in here. For concealer, I don't really have a concealer that I just kind of always use but one of my favorites for every day because again this is going to be like a common thing that i'll keep saying i switch up a lot of my makeup all the time like on rotation so i'm not you know so i can keep using all the different makeup i have but one of my favorite concealers for every day is the il maquillage fuck and flawless concealer i use the shade number eight but i'd probably go a shade up but this is just so nice for every day because it's very thin but it's got the coverage that you want. It blends out in like two seconds. So if you're running late for work, if you're just, if you're just like me, you're just very tired, you just wanna be done with your makeup really quick in the morning, this is perfect for every day because it blends out in like two seconds. I really, really love this. The formula is great. So that is the concealer we've been using every day. Powder is kind of the same. I switch up my powders all the time, but one of my favorites for every day is the Glossier Wowder. I use G8-G10. I don't really understand that shades, but that's the one that I use. This is kind of like a matte blurring powder, I think. I know it's a matte powder, but it's just very lightweight and thin. And again, it's just perfect for every day, so. Wait, I didn't even mention my like lip treatment, so. Of course, before I even start my makeup, my lips are dry as fuck. So I like to either put a lip mask on or just like a bit of a lip balm before I start my makeup. So then when I do my lip products after, it just kind of goes on a bit better. So this has been my favorite at the moment. This is the Kimchi Chic Lip Mask. Candy Lips Lip Mask. I love this. So hydrating. I use this overnight as well sometimes, like before I go to bed. This doesn't like go white. It kind of comes off a bit white and a bit pinky but it doesn't like leave like a white like line on your mouth or anything like that and the formula is really good so yeah but yeah we love a lip balm we love a lip oil so i completely missed out brows but i'll go through my brows very quickly just because this has kind of been like my go-to brow routine like 
re as of recently. So if you've watched any of my last videos, you know what these two are. So I've been using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil, obviously in black. And I just run this through my brows a little bit. I don't use it too heavily. I don't use it too harshly just because we already have naturally thick brows, thank God. So I just kind of fill in kind of the arch because I just kind of shape that a little bit better. And then just a tiny bit at the front as well. And then I always set it and I like using the Jen Atkin and Elf Brow Gel. This isn't my favorite, but I just kind of need to use it up. And honestly, for every day, it does the job. It doesn't hold your brows. So if you kind of want like a brow glue kind of thing, this is not the product. This is just kind of something that you can just kind of whack on your eyebrows and like you're good for a few hours. But for me, for work, I don't really need my brows like glued on. And besides, if I smudge my eyebrows, like my brow pencil, you can't really tell because like, I have a lot of eyebrow hair anyway, so like you probably won't be able to tell anyway. So for that reason, I'm not too bothered that this isn't the best product, but just letting you know, it's not the best, so. Okay, uh, we'll go into eyeshadow quickly. Obviously my, good, where is it? Bit, what? Oh my God. Okay, I've literally lost it. I just used it and I don't know where it is, but my e.l.f. shadow lock eye primer is my, I have a new one here. This is my backup, so I'll just show you it from the packet. But the e.l.f. Shadow Lock Eye Primer is my go-to, it's my favourite. This has honestly taken over the P. Louise eyeshadow base for me. It's just more quick and convenient for me to use. It is a lot more affordable as well and I do really love it. It's not the same product because the P. Louise one is a actual base so that kind of conceals like your lids. That's the good thing about the P. Louise one but this e.l.f. primer it's like two or three pound I'm pretty sure and like this really keeps your eyeshadow on all day long like it's so good you don't need to set it and it's just really convenient because it's like in a little stick and you can just whack it on blend it out either with your finger or a brush and it's just so good and it's just really cheap as well so we love that so for eyeshadow again I don't wear eyeshadow every single day if I was going to work and putting a bit more effort in, like today, I literally have two colours on. And they are from this palette right here. This is the Mandalorian palette from Colourpop. I've talked about this a million times, okay? I'm obsessed with this. I am still obsessed with this palette. Am I obsessed because it's got growth on the front of it and it's from one of my favourite TV shows? Yes, but also I genuinely use this like every day just because the shade which I use today and this is the color which is called Just Like Tatooine. If you're a Star Wars fan, you love that name. Like it's so cute. Anyway, it's just like the perfect like everyday like light peachy pink shade and it just it's just perfect for me and I love it. I literally just put that all over my lids. A lot of the time I won't even do this eyeliner that I've done today. I'll just shove this all over the eyelid and I'm done. Like I'll put it in the crease, I'll put it on the lid and that's it, a bit on the lower lash line and I'm good to go. But I also like to use this one as well, which is Droid Protocol. So this is more like of a maroony, browny red. And I just like to use this on like a really small angled eyeliner brush. And I just kind of wing this out and make like a little eyeliner, but with eyeshadow. So that's what I've done today and I'm just obsessed. Like it doesn't take that long. If you're like me and you're like just terrible at eyeliner, that's like the best thing to do. Just use an eyeshadow and just kind of wing it out. You know what I mean? And also I love that it's not a black. I like that it's a bit of like a browny red kind of color and it just kind of looks a bit less harsh. You know what I mean? Like compared to a black and I love it. So mascara is next. Uh, again, like I said before, kind of like with the concealer and the powder, I don't have like a go-to mascara that I just love using every day. I just switch up my mascaras all the time because I have a lot of them open, which I did say I wasn't going to do. Actually, now I am on a no-buy, okay? Like, I am not buying any new makeup. Okay, this is really hard for me to like say it as well. Except from Urban Decay are coming out with a Marvel palette. That I kind of, I need that because one, it's Marvel. Two, I genuinely like the eyeshadows. They look like they're gonna be good. So I'll probably get that. Apart from that, I'm gonna know by for a good long while, okay? We'll see how long this lasts. But I just, I can't buy any more makeup. Like I need to be done now. 
So as I was saying anyway, my mascaras, I'm always changing because I have so many of them open. However, I did recently get this and it's from Essence. It's super affordable and it's one of their brand new mascaras that they've just come out with. It's called the Double Trouble Mascara. So I actually tried this for the first time today when I filmed the try on clip. Did I film it in the try on clip? I don't think I did actually. Never mind, but you can see it on my eyes now. And I really like it. The formula is good. It's not too thick. And I think for every day, which kind of goes with this video, the best, I think, it is perfect for every day and it's really nice. It's not lumpy or anything like that. It's given me length, but it's given me a bit of volume as well. So I think it's a good mascara. It is very affordable. And yeah, I do like it. So yeah, it's good mascara. And they also have a waterproof one. The cap is blue on that one. So just in case you uh, wanna cry, and you want your mascara to stay on, then get the blue lid one. So for bronzer, again, I like convenience. So I like a lot of these stick products at the moment. So this is the Eye Bright Illuminating Concealer from Makeup Revolution. So obviously this is actually a concealer, but I just get a darker shade. I've used this a lot on my channel, to be fair. This is the shade Toffee that I like to use, and this is perfect for cream contouring for my skin tone. The colour is perfect. Like, I love the undertone. Like, it's got the perfect olive undertone, and you don't get that in a lot of bronzers, to be honest. So, I think getting, like, a concealer, that's how you find your olivey undertones. And this is perfect. I love it. It's just a little twisty up stick kind of thing like that and then it comes out and you just kind of stripe it on and you're good to go again i've said this so many times every time i talk about this i say the same thing so i'm sorry if i'm repeating myself again but just in case you've never seen me talk about this before it does dry really quickly so i would work in sections with it and that's what i always do i'll stripe it on one side blend that out and then work my way around the rest of my face okay so blush i kind of keep two different options for blush depending on how i'm feeling i keep a blush palette and then a cream blush stick my favorite like blush stick for like every day is the cash beauty blush stick and it's in the shade poppin peach so this, I was obsessed with this in the summer. I still am. I love this color so much. The formula is really, really nice. I would say that this is the cream blush version of Luminoso from Milani. So if you love that powdered blush and you want a cream version, this is the closest thing because the color is perfect. It's the same pink, but this blush also has like gold like sparkles in it. Like it's not like chunky glitter. You can't see the glitter on it but it's just kind of like infused in the blush so when you blend it out and when you stripe this on your face you can just see like a glow and it looks like you've got a bit of highlight but it's not like glitter it's not chunky you know i hate that so i wouldn't wear that but yeah the formula is really good and we love this so then i like to keep a little palette like i said so this is probably like one of my favorite blush palettes this is from the brand lmr cosmetics this is the blush trio and this is the medium to tan palette so they have a light one and they have a deeper one as well as this so these are the three shades that you get in the palette the formula is so nice they're all very glowy blushes as well which i love personally again there's no glitter or anything like that they just give you a nice sheen and a nice glow you can see it on my skin literally right now. I use this shade here. I love the palette. I love every single shade in here. I'd probably say the deepest one is my favorite. But yeah, for every day, I like using this one and that's what I use today. And um, there's no highlight on my face today. I don't wear highlight really. So that's all the blush. And it's probably a bit of like the foundation and everything as well. But I love this brand. Like, they're a small business, it's a female owned brand, yes they're all the way in Miami but you know what, for me if the, the stuff is that good I will get makeup from Miami. Okay so I think we're almost there, I just wanted to mention setting spray quickly, this is probably like my favourite go to setting spray that I've been using the most, this is again from the e.l.f. and Jen Atkin like collection that they came out with and it's just their setting spray. It smells like coconuts, gives you a nice glow, and it sets your makeup as well, so yeah. All right, so we've just got lips, I think, to talk about now. So I just kind of wanted to mention two. They're both from e.l.f., they're both very affordable. But again, my lip products change all the time because 
I just like to change my makeup. I get bored very easily. I need change. I need something different every now and then. So I like to change my lip products as well. If I'm wearing like the bare minimum with my makeup, then I'll go with this, which is the e.l.f. What is this called? The Hydrating Core Lip Shine. And this one is in the shade Blissful. And it's just a really nice soft brown. This is like me going over a few times, like you can see it there. It's just a very glowy, it's like a nice moisturizing satin finish. And it's just, it is a lip balm, so it's very hydrating for your lips, but it just gives you a tiny bit of a tint. And look at that color as well, it's so nice. Like, I love that, especially for autumn as well. That is, this is autumn in a lip balm. So, highly recommend those. The Ride or Die lip balms as well, bitch. You know I love these. I keep one in my work bag, which is the berry one, but I have that one that I like using at night, which is the clear one. I have the peach one, which again is a fave. And then I also have this kind of nudie one, which I love as well. So the, the, the berry one is also very nice, but that is a bit more bold. So yeah, these are also very good. Then e.l.f. just kind of kill it with lip products for me. Also, the Jen Atkin Lip Duo from, again, that collection. I am still obsessed with this. So, yeah, that's what I'm wearing today. I've just got the, well, the lip liner I don't care for because it doesn't match the actual, like, lip stick on this side. So, yeah, this is what I'm wearing on my lips today. And I don't put too much of it on, to be fair. I just kind of put, like, a bit like that and then I just kind of, like, go like that like I just kind of like dot it on because I don't want like full on pigment but it's still kind of there and it's got a nice satin finish and again the formula is very nice it's not drying and I feel like it lasts a fairly long time as well here it transfers a little bit but not too much you know what I mean yeah that's it I haven't finished my hot chocolate this is really good I have discovered the best oat milk ever it is the Khalifa Farms oat milk oh that is ugh. It's so thick and creamy, like that in hot chocolate. Okay, so I feel like that was a very long video. On that note, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoyed my kind of everyday makeup routine, I guess. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for letting me know that you wanted me to do a video like this. I hope this is okay. Like I know it wasn't exactly like a tutorial because I was just kind of talking through it as well, but I thought I would just do a little two-in-one. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit and make it maybe a bit more interesting. Maybe it wasn't interesting. I don't know. Anyway, as always, let me know. Keep letting me know what other videos you want me to film and I shall do them. Uh, I need to go to work. Oh my god, yeah. I need to leave in like 15 minutes. Make that 10 minutes, okay? So, yeah. Thank you for watching, like I said, a million times. I'll see you in my next video.